What's up guys, this is Dylan, and I'm here for the FOMO show, Broken Pictures. Uh, that website is www.broken.picturesno.com. Go check that out. And I just went and saw Bumblebee. I'm gonna give a quick uh, little review. Uh, <clears throat> literally just got out of the movie, and this so this is like just like a first reaction type deal. Um, gonna try not to be spoilery. Uh, of course, I'll put it in the comment or not the comments, but in the description if I if I end up do getting spoilery. Uh, but <clears throat> so this is the movie that unseated Aquaman internationally. Uh, Aquaman was a powerhouse internationally and just kind of ravaged through everything. But Bumblebee unseated it, and uh, <clears throat> so supposedly also the, Bumblebee also has the highest. Uh, Rotten Tomato rating for a Transformers movie. After the se past several Transformers movies were questionable and pretty bad, actually. Sorry if you liked them, but uh, anyways, I, I liked the first one. The second one was okay, and then it just got worse from there. Um, but this one, it was it was good. It was good. I mean, it wasn't just like amazing. I would I would have to compare it to Aquaman, where it was it was fun. It wasn't as fun as Aquaman, but it was fun. Uh, had some really good uh, heartfelt moments and stuff like that. Um, but it it just I mean, there was just some things just kind of didn't make sense or whatever. And I don't know I know I'm watching a Transformers movie, but it it all like there were almost elements that just didn't kind of mesh well i noticed that it was produced by michael bay and steven spielberg so maybe there was like some difference of opinions and things that like holdovers from the michael bay uh reign on transformers uh but uh and I, I don't, i'm not sure at this point uh i didn't look it up but uh, i'm not sure if steven spielberg had his hand in the former transformers movies or not but uh, as as where it stands right now, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say in theater. I mean I I know it's you'd be lucky to catch it in a theater. Maybe maybe you can still catch it. I I just caught it. But anyways, pfft, I'm rambling. Anyways, I'm gonna say don't miss it in theater. It's it's fun, but it's it's gonna be a barely don't miss it. Uh, it's 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 almost a miss it just because like it it got kind of slow there in the middle. And uh, honestly, I don't know if it's just because I'm sleepy because I was editing uh, the FOMO show this week, the past two days, overnight and all that. But <clears throat> uh, but I, I you know I got a little sleepy there in the middle and I almost fell asleep, but I didn't. But still, um, good. I mean, it was fun. It was fun. It, it, was, it felt like an '80s movie. It had a lot of great throwbacks and callbacks and and um, retro scenes and stuff like that. Um, but some sometimes it just seemed like it was trying a little too hard. Uh, but uh, most of all, I mean, this is something that that it would be great as a home movie. You know, that you see at home. You know, so I would say don't definitely don't miss it when it comes out to disc and digital. But uh, in the theaters, mm, if if you like the spectacle and the big and everything, the the scenes on Cybertron were spectacular like really well done i wish there was more of that but uh overall it was pretty good it's pretty good so that's it uh thanks for tuning in appreciate you guys uh, don't forget watch the F the fomo show this week uh miss don't miss out the top five blue don't miss out on the top five things in pop culture and entertainment news this week so uh <clears throat> thanks for tuning in this is dylan and uh don't forget to check out the website it's www broken dot pictures no dot com and i'll see you next time peace